So today I'm talking about a P2635 code, what it is and how you can go about fixing it. And so what is a P2635 code? Well, it's a fuel pump A flow performance. And so what does this mean? Well, basically vehicles are gonna have a fuel pump and depending on the vehicle, there could be one fuel pump or two fuel pumps. Many vehicles these days are gonna have a low pressure fuel pump inside the gas tank. And then they're also gonna have a high pressure fuel pump up at the engine. And so this can vary, it can depend on the vehicle, the year, the make, the model, different things like this. So it's always a good idea to get a diagram for your specific vehicle to know for sure what's going on. But basically when you get this P2635 code, the computer's seeing some kind of problem with the fuel pump pressure. And there can be what's called a high pressure fuel pump up at the engine. And there can also be a low pressure fuel pump inside the gas tank. And so it's got to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P2635 code? Well, there's gonna be some different ways you go about troubleshooting this. One of the first things I would do is I'd be sure there's not a bad fuel pressure sensor inside the system. Because if a fuel pressure sensor goes bad, there might not be no problem inside the system, but the computer thinks there is, since that sensor is just giving it bad information. And so there's some different ways to go about testing the fuel pressure sensors. And keep in mind, there could be more than one fuel pressure sensor. There could be a fuel pressure sensor right after the fuel pump inside the gas tank. And there can also be a fuel rail pressure sensor up at the engine. And so again, it's really going to vary. It's going to depend on the vehicle, the year, the make, the model. If you have a scan tool, you can go look at live data on those fuel pressure sensors and just check to see if the numbers are changing. Well, for example, right here, this one's saying 48.7 PSI, and that should move a little bit. So it should be like 48.5, 48.3. It should be going up and down just a little bit. And if it's not, if it's just stuck at a certain thing, like right here, if it's just stuck at 48.7, then that usually points to an issue with that sensor. Another method to test that fuel pressure sensor is that you remove the fuse to the fuel pump, and then you start the engine, you let the pressure run out. And the PSI number on that fuel pressure sensor should drop when it runs out of gas like that. And so there's some different ways to go about testing the fuel pressure sensors. But the first thing I would do is I'd go test those sensors and be sure that they're good because a lot of people, they'll go change out the fuel pumps and that can be a cause and sometimes that does fix it, but it can also be a bad fuel pressure sensor that's just throwing everything off. The next thing I would go and check, I'd check for any kind of wiring issues going on. Mainly go check your fuses, any fuel related fuses, fuel related relays, anything like this. For example, if there's a bad relay going to the low pressure fuel pump, then that's going to cause a problem. So I'd go check for any blowing fuse, any bad relay. You can also get a meter and check the low pressure fuel pump and be sure there's no issues going on inside the wiring going to it. But most definitely go and check for any kind of fuel related blown fuse or bad relays. The next thing that's going to cause this is a bad fuel pump. And this could be a low pressure fuel pump, which is going to be inside the gas tank or a high pressure fuel pump, which is going to be located up at the engine. These high pressure fuel pumps are going to be mounted directly to the engine and they ride on a cam lobe that's pumping up the high pressure. And they'll also have a solenoid on them. Quite often when these high pressure fuel pumps start having a problem, when you go to step on the gas, the vehicle just won't want to go very good it's because the high pressure fuel pump is usually giving gas to the vehicle at higher RPMs, while the low pressure fuel pump is just getting the fuel pressure up to the engine. And of course, there can also be a bad low pressure fuel pump. So the high pressure fuel pump might be fine, it might be working, but there might be an issue with the low pressure fuel pump. If you have an OBD2 scan tool, you could go to live data and you know those fuel pressure sensors are good. You could check to see what the fuel pressure is. Quite often there'll be a fuel pressure sensor right after the gas tank that's monitoring the low pressure fuel pump. And then there'll be another sensor up at the fuel rail that's monitoring the pressure up there. And you could check to see if these are correct. And as long as those sensors are good, that can help you troubleshoot which fuel pump is having the problem. Because the next thing that could cause this is a bad fuel pump. And the last thing on the list is gonna be a bad fuel pump control module. Although this isn't too common, Usually when you get a P2635 code, it's gonna be something else, but it is possible that something's going on with one of the computers, mainly the fuel pump control module. And so again, there's some different ways to go about troubleshooting this. You can get a multimeter and go and check all the wiring going to the fuel pump control module and the wires going to the fuel pump and be sure that's all good. Some people will jumper the fuel pump because those fuel pumps are usually 12 volts. And so they'll jumper them and send voltage to the fuel pump. And if the fuel pump kicks on, then they know that there's some kind of issue going on with that fuel pump control module. I don't recommend doing that, but a lot of people do this. It's best to get a wiring schematic for your particular vehicle, go and check all the wiring going to the control module and all the wiring going back to the fuel pump. And if that all checks out good, then there might be some kind of issue going on with that fuel pump control module. But the last thing on the list is gonna be a bad fuel pump control module. And so that's basically it. 
I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P2635 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.